Hi, welcome back to the table. Messy backdrop again, long story. Uh, I'm full of long stories. Uh, list is gonna be solo games that I have played in the past, have enjoyed, I might be some of these, one of these I'm kind of still playing on and off. Uh, the list will be smaller, uh, so let's get it started. Uh, to on this side over here. Uh, New Bedford. Uh, the game, there's an expansion, adds more buildings. Uh, this game has a solo mode. I haven't played this in years, but I still remember it quite fondly uh, due to the theme. I bought it because of the theme. I buy most things because of the theme. This one is uh, it's kind of a two-parter game. Uh, there's going to be a city with a lot of buildings that will be put out. Each building is a worker placement game. Each building has actions you take. And then later you take your ships. You take them out to the sea uh, to hunt for whales. And they come in different sizes. You Basically, there's a bag full of them. Uh, counters. Uh, they, uh, they're the whales. Uh, you pick them out. And that is basically the game. Setting out your workers uh, to go uh, later on to go whale hunting. Here's the baggie. You pull them out and you'll get a whale. Like this one is uh, worth $4 at the end of the game or somewhere along there. And this one is a two bucker, a $2 one. Uh, there is an expansion I just noticed here and I do remember it. It's like the great white whale. It's, it's real cool. Uh, so if you can fit, if you like to find this game, it shouldn't be. It might be a little hard to find. Uh, the expansion is kind of cool. That's more theme to it. Uh, you're searching for the great white whale, uh, Moby Dick. Uh, again, it's a worker placement game. Uh, you get a lot of buildings to put out. You got your meeples. Uh, you got resources to collect, brick. Uh, here's the big great white whale. I might have painted it white. But uh, that's New Bedford, a uh, game of historic whaling and town building. And the expansion, if you can find it and you're into uh, worker placement games with cool themes, that's one. Uh, tack them over there. Second one, jump right into the new one, uh, G.I. Joe. Uh, it's probably everybody's seen it by now. It's a deck builder uh, by uh, Renegade Games. Uh, Renegade Games usually for me, us, me and my daughter are a miss. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, I'm very wary of them now after spending so much money with them. But I jumped into this one because I'm a G.I. Joe fan. Uh, the down there uh, Transformers. I haven't even opened that one yet. Uh, but uh, G.I. Joe fan, I picked this one up. Uh, it did not disappoint. This is one of those Renegade games that uh, worked out. I think they did good for the license. And uh, there's an expansion out. I haven't picked that one up. This one doesn't get played as much. I know the rules get a little convoluted. It's not real straightforward. But uh, once you wrap your head around it, it does take quite a bit of space laying out to all your stacks and your rows. And uh, But it's a fun game. If you're a fan of G.I. Joe, such am I, uh, child of the 80s, here's one right here. They also have a Kickstarter out with minis that I actually passed on. Uh, I won't get too much into it, but it looked like it was... Uh, uh, Marvel United uh, remake another one of those renegade misses for me uh, sadly enough I might pick it up on retail only because I'm a fan it's got minis the minis I think are too small but hey I regress done moving on next one Ugh. this one got a lot of junk inside Eldritch Horror uh, it's old I'm old uh, I'm late to the uh, Late to the game on this one. I picked it up about a year ago. Uh, right away, I stayed on this table here for uh, for at least a week. I just played it on and off. This is one of those games you can set on and leave on the table, play it on and off, reset it. It resets real quick. Uh, there's a ton of expansions. I have a whole cube over there just of expansions, let alone the small ones down there. There's too much content. But uh, no complaints there. You could mix and match. This is what I do. And uh, again, it's a pandemic style game. You put it out, you play solo, it's a solo list. I play two handed, two characters, which is real simple to do in this game. And uh, Cthulhu Mythos, enough said. Just moving around, adverting, you know, stopping mayhem here while other stuff happens here, when monsters crawl up, while you're trying to accomplish this, and while time is running out. Uh, it's a nice game. You don't win all the time. It's got that good fail success rate. That's just a sweet spot. Uh, Eldritch Horror. 
Uh, the other one is these Dungeons and Dragons Adventures. I have three of them. I don't know if you can see that here, the Drizzit one. And up there I have the expansion that goes to Salt Marsh, uh, which is still in Shrink. Uh, that's not really the game, it's more like add on to this stuff. But uh, these are real fun. Uh, they're pretty much brainless. I guess you can call it beer and pretzels games, where you can just uh, get your character, get your character, uh, it's not even a sheet, it's a card, uh, and just go through the scenario. This one, you're going through uh, Castle Ravenloft and the whole Strahd adventure. Uh, I like this one. Uh, I like them both. I've been slowly trying to find the rest. Uh, they're not hard to find, but eventually I want them all. Uh, my daughter does not like this. Uh, we got into D&D. She got into D&D real heavily the past few, two or three months. Uh, but she won't play this one. Why? It doesn't have the RPG element. She's right. It's not very, it doesn't have a lot of depth. Uh, she wants that. Uh, but this one I like. I lay it out. It takes a lot of uh, table space. It looks kind of cute. You move your minis around. You the scenario straightforward. You finish it. You move on. I'm slowly going through the campaign here. I think I'm halfway through. Uh, but that is the D and D uh, adventure game series, Ravenloft. There's uh, the dragon one. There's Drizzit. There's the Temple of Mad Mage. There's a bunch of them. And uh, that's that one. Again, trying to hit a little bit of everything here. Uh, last one, I think I'm going to show you one more after this, is uh, Savannah Park. I picked this one up sight on scene because uh, a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say YouTubers, but uh, a lot of people were uh, raving over this one, Family Game, so I picked it up. Um, I'm a sucker for these family games. Uh, this one, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It sucks. It's too light. There's nothing to it. I got it because of the Kramer Kiesling, thinking there was going to be something it's something there, at least a simple gameplay and how to master. There's nothing there. You're just putting tiles down, upside down. One player flips one over. He says, uh, it's the elephants. You find your elephant. You put it somewhere else. At the beginning, you don't have a choice, really. And you're just trying to play some either around bushes, around uh, trees, so on and so on. I'm sorry, it's just, this is going to the sale pile. Uh, somebody is going to like it because it's going to be real cheap. Uh, it was a huge fail. It's on the list because it does have a solo mode. It does have a, a like a puzzle mechanic that some people might like. Some people might like to just sit there, look at a puzzle and keep doing and trying to get a better score. I don't like that, but I did want to point this game out because it has a solo mode. A lot of people have been talking about it. And for me, us, my daughter didn't even want to play just looking at it roughly and how I explain the rules. She just passed real quick. But if you're looking for a solo game, puzzle mechanics, that's Savannah Park. Uh, wanted to point out, oh, let's see real quick back here. This one right here, I was messing around with it again. I don't know if you can see it, it's called Bandada. It just came out on Kickstarter. It delivered. I was hoping uh, this would scratch that itch of a quick uh, card game to lay it out. Much like, uh, so I got another one down here. I showed you this one before. Uh, Mini Rogue, where you just lay out the cards. You got a real quick uh, dungeon laid out. So you get that dungeon crawl feel real quick. Set it up real quick to set up and tear it down. Anyways, nothing to do with that one. But small card game that I can lay out. One to two players. I got it because of the solo. Uh, it's got one of the coolest packagings out there. I wish everybody would do these small packagings on these type of boxes on these games. Uh, problem. Very simple game. The rules are very simple, but there's stuff missing in here. I've had a few questions and uh, there's so many games coming out that I just feel like if I have to put a lot of effort and try to reach out on BGG or even try to reach out to the game designer, which he's out there and he's very proactive answering questions and everything, I'll give him that. But uh, I don't have time to figure it out, to go back and forth for every little card. It's mainly how the, how the card scores. It's like, what does this one do? The, the, the whole iconography on it. I wish he would come out with a cheat sheet, a player aid, at least post one in BGG. It's not up there yet. But that's one of those games that's very pretty. Uh, if you can get past that, I'm sure you're smarter than me. You can figure out the, the, the iconography for the scoring. But uh, again, as many of us out there, 
it took too long to figure out you know what before you know it it gets replaced by another game it's just in the back shelf and more games come in a lot of stuff gets released people don't have time to just figure out hunt the designer down ask them questions on such a simple card game but i understand all the iconography they could have done a player aid uh, looking back here real quick that's pretty much it the transformer once is there that i wanted to point out for solo games uh other than the war games i'll do another list of that here in a few weeks for war games but uh that is a list of about five one two about five solo games i'm gonna start keeping it short because i'm running out of games i'm trying to slow down on buying games but uh, that's a list of games uh one that's always going to be hitting the table gi joe with a cool theme castle ravenloft very uh, brainless just move your minis around and, uh, and two duds so uh that's the list you guys take care